Hello, how to Bob here, and I made this video to show you how to change the front fuel filter in a 2020 Ram 6.7 Cummins diesel. Okay, we're going to get started out by going underneath the truck, and this view is going to be kind of hard to see, and I'll try to give you the location the best that I can. If you look straight up through here, you'll see a little piece of tubing right up here. Got my finger on it right now. That's what we're looking for. Now I have a piece of 5 16 ID, 7 16 OD rubber tubing that I'm going to slide to the inside of the tubing that is in the truck. And that's going to catch my fuel when I drain it out. I also have a quart bottle that I've cut a hole in the top. I'll then put the tubing into the bottle and hopefully it'll stay upright long enough to catch my fuel. I'll go back up to the top of the truck and here is the drain valve. It is just a quarter turn. You can use a screwdriver. A lot of times you can do it by hand. Just a quarter turn and it should start flowing out the bottom. You can see how easy it is to turn. So I'll leave it open for a little bit. Then it takes a little while to drain. So be patient and let it drain until it uh, no longer drains. And then you can shut it back off. Once you get that drained, I'll use a 28 millimeter socket to remove the filter housing cap. And it's got an O-ring on there that's pretty tight so it's a little difficult with the angle that you have to get but once i have it loose with the socket i can get the rest of it off by hand and remove that you'll see that more fuel has come out and some of the residual has dripped down as well so the bottle helped somewhat but it didn't take all of it so we can remove the cap and then I want to pull the filter out. It's a slight turn. And then pull it straight up. Don't want to force it out or pry it. And it should come straight out. Let some of the fuel drip down into the housing. And then I need to remove the old O-ring because the new kit comes with a fresh o-ring now you can see the bottom of the filter has an oblong hole you want to keep that in mind when you reinsert it into the filter housing but i want to take my o-ring and i want to coat it with a lubricant or you can use the diesel fuel from the catch bottle that we had then i want to take my o-ring and slide it back into the o-ring slot making sure it's lined up all the way around and you can see here this is where the oblong hole comes in. It will only go in one way. So you kind of orient the filter when you put it in. And you can kind of feel it as you put it in. As you turn it, it will kind of fall into place if the oblong hole is lined up. And you push it down and it seals it off. I hand tighten my filter cap. And then tighten down the cap with my 28 millimeter socket. Don't want to get it too tight. Once I have the filter cap tightened down, I'll make sure my drain valve shut off and I want to prime the fuel system. And I do that by going in the cab and turning the vehicle on without starting it. Now I'll repeat that process several times. Once I've done that several times, the vehicle should be good to go. So this is how you change the front fuel filter in a 2020 Ram. 6.7 Cummins Diesel. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.